Hey guys, it's me so. Welcome to my kitchen today. So glad you stopped by. Not gonna disappoint you because I got something ready for you. I'm gonna show you how to make something quick, simple, easy, and delicious. Let's get started. Look at this. In the South, what is better than a plate of oxtails, fried cabbage, and some cornbread, honey? Ah, let's get into it. So here I have my oxtails, and uh, you can take a look. They're between about $13 and $15 a pack, and I have several packs here, and I am just going to be in to open these packs, and I'm going to wash these oxtails really good because I don't know where these oxtails have been. I don't know who they know and who they hang out with. So I've got to get mine clean to put them on my table with for my family. So I have three packs here. I've opened them up, and I'm putting them down in this water. Going to give them an initial water wash. You know, I'm going to get my hands down there and just kind of wash them off. Now I've drained them and I put the oxtails back in this pan, same bowl and now I'm going to put fresh water, more water in here on these oxtails. So I have some distilled white vinegar that I'm using. Doesn't matter, just use you some vinegar. Uh, I'm putting about a half cup of vinegar in this water. Now this time I'm going to just kind of swish them around and uh, still just sort of agitate them with my hands. And then I'm gonna leave these oxtails to sit in this vinegar for about 15 minutes. The meanwhile, what I'm doing is I'm um, getting my, I have some beef broth. You can cook yours in beef broth or in water. It doesn't matter a whole lot, but I wanna think that the beef broth gives it a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna put a one quart and a half, one and a half quarts of beef broth into the crock pot. Here I have some Lipton beefy uh, onion soup mix and I'm there are two packets coming to that box and I'm going to use the entire box of both packets and get it down into my water. Now I'm also putting some salt. You be careful because the Lipton soup mix does have salt already in it so you control your salt there for yourself. I'm coming back checking on my oxtails and so I'm going to give them still another swish. Looking at them, are y'all clean yet? Y'all feel clean? Mm. Let's get this water off of them. We're gonna pour this water off, and then we're gonna put some fresh water back onto them. We wanna do this until the water is clear. And so you're gonna use, don't use hot water, you're gonna use like a tempered water. You're gonna use maybe room temperature water or cool water, but don't use hot water and uh, don't use completely cold water. So we are washing these guys again. This is after the vinegar soak. Mm -hmm. can't, get them, can't get them too clean. You just want to clean them really good. If you see any big chunks of fat hanging off of them, go ahead and cut that off because you don't need that on there. So just sort of clean them up. Okay. Now we're going to move right across the room over here to the, our waiting a slow cooker and in here you remember that I did put in the Lipton soup mixer that's what you see in the broth and now I'm getting in some uh, red pepper flakes I'm going to put in some garlic I'm gonna come right back with some thyme some thyme leaves yeah take a little time to put some thyme in I've got some oregano some oregano <laughs> some oregano y'all put that in there and of course some ground black pepper here I'm gonna put in a little little bit of basil leaves and I am coming right back with my bay leaves these are my fresh bay leaves and I'm gonna put about one big one and one little one I think that'll get it don't you guys one bigger than one little one. Okay, now I'm coming in with my oxtails now. So I'm gonna get all my oxtails down into this broth. I have, the broth is pretty warm. It's always good to get your crock pot started early. Start with your broth heating it up, otherwise you'll lose about an hour of just trying to let it heat up. So this way, if it, your, your liquid is already hot, it won't take so long to cook it. Getting that lid down there, you see I got it on high, and I'm gonna cook it on high for, <laughs> right now it has been almost four hours, just checking on it. Gonna get this lid, lid off, and I'm gonna just check on my oxtails. What y'all think? Mm. Looking pretty good. 
looking pretty good. I want them tender though and falling off the bone. Mmm, smells good already. Let's let them go for maybe an hour and a half, two hours longer. Here we go. Now, look at that broth. You see how rich and delicious that broth looks? You see how beautiful? They are falling off the bones, and I am getting them out now. Because guess what? It's time to eat. I've already made some cabbage and a little side dish, honey. And we're going to put this on a plate, and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> look at that broth. Delicious. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this plated up. Look at here, y'all. Look at here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right now we're getting a little hot sauce on here because this is how I like to eat mine. And you see that we have some fried cabbage. Honey, this is the South. In the South, we don't boil cabbage. We don't steam cabbage. We fry our cabbage. Yeah, in grease, like bacon grease. Oh, yeah, honey, this is fried cabbage and onions. Oof, and the hot sauce. Oh, yes, can't hardly wait, honey. I am so excited. You see how my camera is bouncing around? I'm excited, y'all. Uh, I got some sliced tomatoes. I have some cornbread. And look, y'all, look. Mm-hmm. Don't that look good? Don't that look good? Ooh. Yes. Get a look at the oxtails real good. Get a look at that cabbage. <laughs> I can't wait. Let me get my fork. Where's my, where, where is my fork? It's time to taste these. Ugh. There you go. So I'm getting this oxtail up and I wanna bring it real close to the camera. I wanna make you hungry. I wanna make you wanna get in the kitchen and do this. And then I wanna just show you how beautiful it is and how good it looks. Ooh. Ooh. And they're very hot. Very good, y'all. I don't know if you've had oxtails before. If you have not, you better get you some. I've shown you how to do it. Come on, get you some and serve some to yourself. Serve some to your family. Mm -mm. And guys, I got most all that meat off here. A little bit of hot sauce left and a little bit of meat. I'm gonna go back and this is what you do on an oxtail. You can really just suck the bone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look there, all the meat is gone this time. That's what's gonna happen to this whole plate. I gotta get y'all out of here so I can go take care of this plate. Hey, I give this two thumbs up, honey. Big old 100, 200, whatever you wanna say, it's great, it's fabulous. Y'all ought to do this for your family. Hey, I wanna appreciate you, let you know that I do appreciate you for coming by checking on me. You wanted to see what I was cooking today? Well, now, you knew that I would be throwing down and I hope that I did not disappoint. Uh, guys, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna thank you. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that red button and also hit the notification bell right beside it until you see the parentheses and then that way you'll be notified every time that I put up a new video I am also guys on uh, other platforms like uh, Instagram and Pinterest and uh, let's see Instagram Pinterest TikTok, honey the Twitters Facebook all that jazz everywhere I'm me so making it over there too so I want you to come by and see me and give me some support over on those other platforms uh, I also want you to share my videos everywhere you are active on social media. I am trying to grow my channel. Help me to get to 200,000 people. And I want you to do that by, help me to do that by sharing my videos. Uh, give me a big old thumbs up. That will help too. <laughs> and don't forget to leave me some comments, guys. I love to hear what you're saying and what you're thinking, and especially if you've tried some of my recipes or one of my recipes. I want to hear how it turned out for you. I want to hear about the great success because I know that's the only way that it can be is successful. Let me know how you became a kitchen rock star right there in your kitchen, honey. Oh, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much. Here's what I want you to do. Be good to yourself. Love yourself. And then that way you are equipped to love somebody else. Love somebody by sharing your food. Yeah, that's right. Let them know that you love them. Share your love. Share your food, guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.